Google, what is this? This is the Touchdowns and Tangents podcast. I am Pete D. Camarillo, and as always, to my left, I am joined by my friend, my colleague, my co-host, Kenneth Frank James Berry. Hey, shout out to the 90s babies out there. But yeah, man, for those of you who've never listened to this podcast, this podcast is pretty much like two dudes sitting on a bar stool in the corner having a really compelling conversation about sports and football. And well, that's actually what we're doing today. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty ironic. Yeah, it's like when you with your friends at whatever type of function and y'all just start randomly talking shit about everything you see. And that becomes funnier than whatever's going on. That's kind of what this podcast is like. But yeah, we actually got some news to talk this week. Look, going on all around us, live from Joxer Delis and Culver City, Los Angeles. The NFL draft is here, Kenny. I'm really pissed. The Redskins just took Montez Sweat. Like, that's actually a perfect place for him. Like the Raiders could have picked him at 24, but they took bum ass Josh Jacobs. But yeah, if you're not a football fan, it's okay. We're not exactly a football podcast. We actually pioneered the sportish um, category, which is now trending with pretty much everybody. But yeah, it's mostly a football, uh, mostly a football podcast. But we go off on tangents, hence the name. Yeah, uh, but most importantly, we we'll, you know we'll drop some nuggets on you, some really good facts that you will take away, if nothing else. But yeah, with that said, back to the draft, man. So far, who are your winners and losers of the first round? Some picks that really jump out at you. Some guys are like, wow, I can't believe that I got that player. That's actually perfect for them. Everyone is a winner in this draft except the Raiders and the Giants. <laughs> like, and I'm a Raiders fan. I took off thing, my Raiders gear because shit was be, getting real. It's one thing to be stupid, but it's another thing to like keep being stupid. And Oakland like just Bruh. keeps doing that. Literally, like, Cl- Clellan Farrell, the number four overall pick in the 2019 draft, was in most mock drafts anywhere from number 20 to 40 overall. And what did Gruyak? Yes, I'm calling them Gruyak, Gruden, and Mike Mayock. What wow. did they do? They took this guy at number four overall. They literally made a twenty-three million dollar difference in this man's life. So I can't really be mad at them. Because, I mean, he was a top prospect last year, right? Yeah, but, I mean, Clemson defensive ends usually bust out. And I don't believe he runs at least a 4-8. Shout out to every Clemson defensive lineman the Bills take or the Panthers take. R.I.P. Gaines Adams. R.I.P. Gaines Adams. He was actually ascending, but. No, he was, like, the fourth overall pick, and he ran, like, a 4-6. But he ended up being trash. But he was ascending. He was getting better. Uh, And he he tragically died. Like, he, he he, he sucked. We can be honest. But, yeah, man, one of my winners, the New York Jets, surprisingly, getting Quentin Williams at number three. I mean, that's kind of an ideal place for him. They got the Williams wall now with Leonard Williams. Shout out to USC, your boys. Every time I think about, like, all the teams that passed on Leonard Williams, it just makes me mad. Like, Oakland, they passed – this is going to be me slandering Oakland a lot of the episode and plot twist. I'm Shout from out to East Dame Oakland. Lillard. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. Dame Lillard versus everybody. I'm from East Oakland. I grew up next to the stadium and I still can't tolerate their bullshit. Like, I feel bad for Oakland because they literally, like, when they, I remember when they took Robert Gallery, right? And they Trash. passed on Larry Fitzgerald, Philip Rivers. And Sean Taylor, God bless the dead. How about the next year when they took Jamarcus then, over Calvin Megatron then, Johnson? All right. all right, they took Jamarcus Russell over Calvin Johnson and Adrian Peterson. But nah, this ain't a Raiders podcast, so we'll get to that later. Um, I'm number still seven, sick about it. I'm, I'm really hot about that shit. <laughs> number seven overall pick, another guy I really like, Josh Allen to the Jaguars, man. That was a steal. He, he, he can fell. be what Dante Fowler was supposed to be. Yeah, and they are. <laughs> yep, that's true. In except, the top ten. Except I still say Josh Allen out of Wyoming is trash, and no one has proven otherwise. He still sucks. And if 
we all know he ran a lot, but that's because he had no offensive line. And other than having a strong arm, he's not accurate. How about Haskins falling to number 15? A lot of people had him as high as four to the Raiders, as high as six to the Giants, which Jones out of Duke actually went before him, which <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. But can I, can, I, can I slander him now? Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. So the newest member of the Noodle Arm Quarterback Club, uh, <laughs> Daniel Jones. The New, York, the New York Giants for real think they're playing football in 2006 because they keep getting these big arm, big body QBs that are slowly going extinct. I mean, we just had a 5'9", 5'10", quarterback go number one overall. A Kyler Murray's real, and the Raiders are picking right now. Oh, where fresh hell is this? Okay. They'll probably mess it I up. I bet it's DK Metcalf. I bet money. It better be DK Metcalf. Oh, wow. They took a safety. Oh. Oh. Uh, s- wait, they didn't even take uh, their best safety. I thought it was Nasir Adderley. Uh, Yo. All right, man. So, this is uh, Honestly. They took a second tier running back and a second tier. Honestly, let's back up a little bit. So, I'm going to go on a tangent and tell a little bit of a story. So, there I was. You know, there's no parking over here. Wait, so. time out, time out. Every time we say tangent, just take a shot. Yeah. Yeah, so there I was, you know, there's no parking over here. Traffic was bad. So I was like, oh, I'm going to park at the Good News radio station. Uber over here. So that's what I did. Right as I parked there, the Raiders were making the pick. So naturally, I had the radio up loud. I was chilling. I was changing in, I was changing in the, the Shaq Diesel jersey you see me in right now. And the pick was announced, Colin Farrell. And I literally lost my shit. Like, I literally could not control myself. I just started cursing, yelling, asking God why he keeps doing this to me. And some lady was, like, literally just walking by, walking her dog. And she looked at me, like, so scared. Her eyes got big. I felt really bad, but that's just the, the emotions the Oakland Raiders put me through every single year. So, I guess I might be a Chargers fan. I mean, <laughs> I refuse to root for a team that plays Bolt like up. State Dominguez Hills. Get the fuck out of my face. Bolt up. Ram- yeah, Ramley? Man. Shout out to the Ramley. Shout out to the Ramley in the house, man. Hey, shout out to the Ramley wearing Raiders gear in the back. Shout out to my boy C's. Damn, hey, why you out- dry snitch on that man? It's all right. My dad is the same way. Shout out to my dad. He's also in the house. He don't know if he's a Rams fan or a Raiders fan. He's going to draw shit to your own father? It's all good, though. you saucy. Okay. It's all good because my co-host is the same way. He doesn't know if he's a Raiders whoa, fan or whoa, a Rams fan whoa. week to week. First off, it's first a, off. It's a game have, time decision with options. a lot of you Ramley out there. I have options and I exercise them. But, yeah, man. Which is rare. How about, how about some, some other picks outside of the Raiders that you're just like, Man, this shit makes no sense. Again, I have to go back to Daniel Jones because, like, Dwayne Haskins was still on the board. And then he goes to the Deadskins. I'm not saying Which Redskins. is actually perfect for them. So it's like now they, have, they got Haskins and they got Montez Sweat. Which is actually perfect for them. The they're actually like, they're low key a contender in the East now after that. Those and two moves alone. Like, bro, you got a defensive end who's 6'6, 260. And he runs faster than almost all your he's wide receivers. He's a better receivers. Preston Smith. No, he's like Julius. He's a more athletic Preston Smith. He's a more athletic Julius Peppers. I don't know about that, but I mean, okay. Okay, how many defensive ends with that size, you know, pause? <laughs> have a track speed. Hey. He, he runs half speed. He's still chasing you down. Hey, my charges are on the clock. But besides that. Did you say the dead bolts? <laughs> the dead both the Duracell batteries. Another pick it's that I really team. liked was Devin Bush to the Steelers. I know they traded up, but honestly, that was the perfect spot for him. I mean, he's pretty much becomes their new Ryan Shazier. They don't have de- they don't have defense. Funny thing, Ryan Shazier went to Ohio State, and Devin Bush went to Michigan. So, so I can't compare the two. Is that what you're telling me? They're like the same guy, but I think Devin Bush might end up being more like Keith Rivers. But since so Hines soft, Ward, soft Hines and Ward don't play in the league, so he's not going to get his jaw broken. <laughs> Too soon? All right. Another dude I don't know has no business in the first round. 
Titus Where's Howard. That? Alabama Yo, State. Shout out to HBCUs. Watch shout out. Shout out to SBCUs for sure. Shout out to HBCUs. Watch them but out. But Alabama State. Titus Howard in the first round is that's almost as bad as Brandon Parker last He's year. He's better than anybody. The I could play left tackle for the Houston Texans, and I wouldn't give up as many sacks as they did. They're trash, bro. The offensive line is hot garbage. I would let you be their right guard. Yeah, that would actually be good. Yeah, it's his own scheme. We work. I'd be holding every play, but still, I would be giving up 78 sacks. You look like you got a soft anchor. You don't got core strength. First off, I'm a zone center. That's disrespectful. How are you a zone center? You can't even walk. What the fuck? I walked in here. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, I guess. So There's a guy who still won't take his hat off. I guess. All right, bet. You could probably play in the new NFL where there's no three-point stands because I know your ass ain't getting the, low. The XFL? Yeah. Yeah, but they don't allow kidney punches, so then I can't. <laughs> I have to play dirty. I'm wasting my time playing clean. See XFL. All right. What do you think about the Raiders taking Josh Jacobs at number 24? I know that was actually a pick mocked a lot. He's a top running back, but I'm not a fan of it. Okay. He's the top running back, like, the same way when you stay in the bar till the lights come on? Yeah, pretty much. So, like, and I told you, I don't trust He's that 6, chilling at 12.55 a.m. He's, like, accident, he's that accidental Tinder swipe that you just say, fuck it, why not? <laughs> the accidental Twitter swipe. I don't know about that. I retired from Tinder. Shout out to my girl in the back, <laughs> Kelsey. You're a, faithful, you're a faithful black man? Okay. No comment. <laughs> and shout out, to, shout out to the Ravens, man, getting Marquise Brown. They finally got Hollywood some Brown. speed. Except for hopefully he doesn't get hurt. Yo, Drew Locke has a face I want to punch. Why? Because he's white? And a hairline that is gro grotesque. Look at that That's shit. That's bad, bro. Look at his hair. Like, Who bro. are the charges about to take? The pick is in. <sighs> but in the meantime, in we the gotta, meantime. But now, how do you really feel about that uh, Jonathan Abram pick to the, for the Raiders? There was a lot of other safeties I would have taken, including Nazir Adderley from Delaware. I like Juan Thornhill out of Virginia. He actually can play Thornhill corner. Thornhill, he runs a 4-3, right? He, he can play like safety and corner. Yeah, Bottom that line been is the Raiders pickup. have no team speed. I just don't know why you take Abram. Isn't he the, the same dude as Carl Joseph? No, he's just a bigger, strong safety. So he's the same dude as Carl Joseph, just bigger. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, waste of a pick. I don't know what Gruden and the Raiders are doing, man. But the Packers might be winning besides this draft, testing too. My, besides testing my fandom. The, no, the Packers definitely probably win in this draft because they got Rashawn Gary, who can play edge and defensive end, and they got Darnell Savage at 21. Shout out to 21 Savage. All right, man. But while we wait for this Chargers pick, let's get to a little bit of a trivia since I set up some trivia. I know you're the unofficial king of Spartacle. No, I am the Sparkle King. There yeah. is no other. So, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Don't play with me. Okay. I'm going to throw it back right here. Don't ever say I'm going to throw it back to me in a room full of people. 20 years ago, the 1999 NFL Draft. Can you give me the first three quarterbacks selected? 1999? 1999. 20 years ago. The first three quarterbacks selected? First three quarterbacks selected in 1999. Here's another hint. They uh, went one, two, and three. The Chargers got that dirty-ass D-tackle out of a trash-ass Notre Dame, Jerry Tillery. He's actually really good. That's actually perfect. He's a, he's a dirty player, though. He can play three technique, and he can play um, I mean, five-gap. He's 6'6". Six, six. He runs like a five, four, nine, five. He's a dirty like six, player, though. Six, 290. He's still a dirty ass. Did player. you say a Notre Dame player is dirty? What do you mean? No, we like go to he's mass. legit dirty. They go to mass. He stopped on guys' legs. Come on, man. He's trying to break people's arms and shit. He's Vontez, but with actual talent. Yeah, I was gonna say. I wouldn't say that's. But Vontaze. yeah, you're deflecting. So you got to answer to my trivia question. Uh, let me hey, see. audience, if you know what the answer, I got a gift card for you. But you got to do it without looking at Google. If I had to guess. I would say Peyton Manning, Ryan. Oh, wait, was that you're, you're off. That was 98. Ah, oh, shit. It was. 99. Oh, McNabb? Close. McNabb, Achilles Smith? Nope. Who went before McNabb? Uh, who, went, who went before McNabb? You're not. In come on, draft. bro. There was, a, there was an expansion team, a team that.